Hello and welcome to Zoom Tips and the 33rd tutorial on cell programming or cell scripting for the beginners. In this video, I am going to talk about the how to generate and random numbers using the cell script language. So let's get started. So before going to the program code, I am going to discuss about something about a random numbers. If you have used C programming, you have already created the random numbers using the rand function. What is the random numbers? If you do not know, I am going to say random numbers being random numbers will act, will create an arbitrary number between the lower value of 0 to the 2 to the power 31 minus 1 is the maximum value of 32 bit system so this will be the maximum number between this 0 and this maximum number and a number will be randomly selected and it will be displayed in the screen that is called the random number function and to customize this there will be huge value sometimes will be low value we are going to use some tricks to bound this uh, between the number, lower number and higher number and it is going to be displayed so my program is going to be in this video that I am going to display 10 random numbers and first of all the po the program will ask the user to enter the maximum value and as well as the lower value and between that interval 10 random number will be selected and will be displayed in the output screen. So let's get into the code. So here you can see in the first line there will be the intended lower limit read L. So lower limit value will be stored in L then higher limit value will be stored in H. Then in the number line 5, it will be in equal to expr h minus l. So the interval, in means for interval here. So expr will do the higher value minus lower value. So suppose the 10 will be the lower value, 50 will be the higher value. So interval will be 40. So within the 40 interval, all the number will be displayed. So next is going to echo. Echo. 10 random numbers between the dollar l and dollar h that means lower value and higher value r this is just for the user convenience and the display so next it is the main thing is going to start for i in sq 10 so it will be iterated 10 times as i already said in my previous videos what is sq in my for loop video just watch it if you do not understand here so then do will do and done will stop and in between do and done what is going to happen there is another variable t t is going to be expr random percentage in and let me discuss it about this main thing of this program random this is the cell defined thing and cell predefined variable where the random variable every time you will run a random number will be displayed if you cannot understand this i am going to display about how to use this so if you are going to echo out this random variable so let me enter echo then the dollar symbol then about the random r n d o m random and that will remember thing you have to type in in capital so here i have echo random there is the value i have already says 2 3 31 minus 1 is the maximum value here and again if you are going to run is again the different number so every time it will run it is going to be select randomly so sometime it will be low sometime it will be high and no boundary condition it may be anything so sometime it will be one or two sometime it will be maybe higher like higher like this so to i am going to give it some boundaries so this and this huge number is now suppose let this huge number is inside this random and it will be divided and the remainder of this so suppose if we're going to find out the one to thousand number of between one and hundred suppose the higher value given by the user is hundred so the random number will be chosen between one and hundred and it will be divided and the it will be divided and the remainder using this percentage of you all know the remainder will be saved in t so t here i am supposing kind of temporary because this is not a final value so as you are going to percentage of the getting the remainder of this division you already know always remainder will be less than the divisor so here what is going to happen suppose the value suppose here 
the value were previously were some between 2000 and you are going to happen it 2002 so if you are going to user have entered here 100 then it will be two remainder then the two is going to be in t so next what is going to do it will just two plus the lower value suppose i have entered not one two hundred i have entered ten two hundred so ten will be added with two the twelve will be the last value of n so 12 is the my random number and it is also going to be fall back between 10 and 200 100 so in this way the, all the program is going to happen so this is the boundary condition i have given first of all the remainder will be taken then the remainder will be added with the lower value and then this is the 10 1 to 10 means the 10 time iteration for loop not the 1 to 10 random numbers when i am going to run is this program right now you will be very clear another thing is that in my just my previous videos of array program array with this shell script i have already mentioned that this array is support only in bash shell you have to run bash space the file name dot sh and here is also the same thing random function is not in the normal shell you have to run bash shell so what you have to type bash space the file name dot sh so it is asking the enter the lower limit suppose i am going to enter the lower limit 20 enter the higher limit suppose we enter my higher limit will be the 75 let's enter so here you can see the output 10 numbers between 20 and 75 are 42 74 23 28 44 in this way you can notice that there is no number which is less than 20 there is no number which is greater than 75 uh, my program has been run successfully and accurate so this is the random number program function in bash shell you have to run with bash then program.sh if you found this video helpful please like this video share this video and comment if you have any query and don't forget to subscribe some things to get more videos on my channel thanks for watching this video hope to see you soon in my next video